morning my darlings welcome to a new vlog a very special vlog today because today is the day of the king's coronation and the queens i decided to um i decided to add that little clip as the intro to today's vlog if you are wonderful and watch the vlogs to the end, then you'll actually have seen that that is officially our new outro. <laughs> so you'll already have seen it, um, albeit probably with little stickers over the top asking you to subscribe and watch the next video. But I just think that that edit, this is the first time I'm vlogging since actually seeing it. <laughs> um, I think that the edit is so gorgeous that I wanted everyone to see it and appreciate what a great job Jake did with that. Um, so there we go, a lovely intro for today's vlog, but only for today, don't worry, I'm not gonna have an intro on every vlog, cause um, this ain't Vlogmas, <laughs> although it feels like it because tragically it is grey and raining today, which is such a shame because I feel like on royal occasions, normally someone <laughs> up there sends down some sunshine, but not today, which is a huge shame because Charlie and I, as you know, love to host, we love to specifically host in the garden, and the garden is just coming to life, the arch is in blossom, the orchard is all in blossom, and the tulips are out, the alliums are just peeking through, so it would have been just gorgeous to have trestle tables outside and beautiful sunshine, but alas, we cannot control the weather. So we, I have laid the table already this morning in the dining room. We have done a little bit of food prep in the kitchen. We have got 11 um, joining us today. So a good size group of friends and lots of extra doggies as well. So it's going to be a really fun day. Our guests are arriving in an hour, an hour and a half. Crikey. And we will have the actual coronation on the television in the background, um, a few glasses of champagne. I think we're gonna do a little kind of brunch for everyone to begin with and then proper food later on. So it's gonna be a lovely day. As you can see, I still have hair and um, bits to do. So we also need to put up some bunting <laughs> because why not? So I'm gonna do my last minute dash around. I did film a little bit of um, food prep <laughs> footage this morning and you'll have seen lots more at the end of the last vlog where I'd started prepping all of the dishes. So I'll leave you with that footage <laughs> to enjoy um, and I'll see you when I'm looking a little bit more presentable. So this is the calm before the storm in the kitchen. I'm just going to quickly prepare a few of my sauces before Charlie takes over the kitchen. And I've just been down to the kitchen garden and grabbed some herbs for a green tahini sauce. Now, anyone that knows Ottolenghi recipes will think that I'm completely bonkers and Charlie thinks that I am completely bonkers trying a few things from Ottolenghi for the first time when we've got guests but these these are all from the simple cookbook and they are all like two or three steps for each of the recipes so I'm hoping that they will genuinely be simple. I have full faith it's just that there's a lot of elements. Ottolenghi is not easy recipes aren't they? No but this book is literally called simple and if there's one thing that I am. <laughs> I think version of simple is like Heston Blumenthal level. Yes well <clears throat> This this thing that I'm making now has one step, which is blend all the ingredients all together. So I'm going to do the green tahini sauce, which, to be honest, I have done a version of this before, and it's literally shoving a load of yummy things in a blender. And um, I think that'll go really nicely with some of the cauliflowery aubergine dishes that we are doing. Then, um, we've got a lot of cauliflower in at the house, so that's an aubergine dish, <laughs> not a cauliflower. Do you like my bookmarks, by the way? They are these little postcards with Dickens on from George Smith. I thought, um, I don't know if we're gonna have too much food, but because we've got so much cauliflower, I thought I might as well do this. Cauliflower, pomegranate, and pistachio salad. And we've got loads of orzo as well, and I thought that that could go with this really nicely. And then here I've got the ingredients ready for this recipe, which is a very simple roasted baby carrots with rose harissa and pomegranate. I bought some rose harissa from Ottolenghi in London the other day. Um, I've got some Dalesford coronation honey. I've just realized that this is meant to be a vegan dish, so I need to check. Do vegans have honey? I don't think they do, do they? Hmm, okay, I'll have to do a version without honey as well. Um, with some butter. Oh my gosh, that's not vegan either. Josie, you're such an idiot. Right, okay, um, back to the drawing board with that one then. I'll be doing a simple version and a vegan version and a non-vegan version. 
Anyway, um, typical this morning, the hot water decided to give up on us, so Charlie is just having to try and fix that. Um, I've got all the food that I prepared last night, and I'm desperate to get in the shower, but need hot water. Cold showers are the worst things ever. Tragically, it's going to be raining most of the day, so um, we're going to have to eat in here, which... Obviously I love our dining room but it's very dark and it's not the most spring summer vibes. It's perfect for autumn and winter. But I've tried to bring some bloom into the dining room. I've got our Bertioli tablecloth, um, Rebecca Oodle placemats and then Burley Pottery plates, flowers from the garden, Dalesford wine glasses and we're using the vine tomato scent which is really good for cutting through cooking smells so yeah I mean it just would have been so gorgeous to have a lovely trestle table outside but alas the rain says otherwise and we are going to be serving drinks from the Cotswold um, distillery that we bought the other day we've got a classic elderflower gin lovely with a cordial a wildflower gin What's that? I think that's a non-alcoholic. And then this is the Cotswold Distillery answer to Pims. It's called the Summer Cup. I am so excited to try that. So something else I can do to get ahead today is chop up some fruits, get some mint leaves from the garden. So yeah, right, time for me to get busy. I will be getting changed uh, just before our guests arrive, but at the moment I've just got on this lovely, I think it's Laline dress that I got from Netta Porter last summer. Uh, it's just a nice, easy to throw on dress and then my little Amazon flat shoes. <laughs> Look at this. Tragedy. It tra <laughs> I love how many of you, like Josie, were old enough to remember the Bee Gees version of tragedy. It is brightening, said the world's biggest optimist. So, hmm, fingers and toes crossed. Beautiful roses in the entrance hall. I ordered these from Flowered earlier in the week and they are just coming out and opening up and looking wonderful. We got this um, vintage fabric bunting from Etsy, so we're just going to add this to the archway outside. It is sadly dribbling with rain, but alas, I think this will look lovely. Okay, bunting is up, and I'm now going to prepare the rose harissa for my carrots. Uh, I've got some honey, got the harissa, got some cumin seeds, butter and garlic. This should be rather delicious. Okay, my darlings, I have just popped upstairs to get changed and add some more makeup. I have just popped on a lovely little bit of blush. This is the Clay de Peau Blush Creme in number four. It is a very pretty natural blush. And then I've added Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and the Code 8 lipstick in the shade wonderlust now this is actually not what i'm going to be wearing for the rest of the day i already decided i'm going to wear my gorgeous purple purple pleated zimmerman however i have received this last week my latest nurture porter order and i want to show you some of the gorgeous pieces in said order because honestly nurture porter are just having quite possibly the best season of all time and there are so many things that I'm dying to show you. So, um, I'm probably not going to show you within this little try on my Erdem dresses because I sh did do a little try on of those last time. I have added a couple to the collection, um, but you guys have been seeing them in so many vlogs. I have been wearing them non stop. We have taken a few lovely photos in them lately, so I'll pop the um, photos on the screen here so you know the dresses that I'm talking about. Let me know if you would like a little Erdem dress collection or roundup in a future vlog. But for now, let's focus on the others. So these are all beautiful pieces from Netta Porter, and I will leave them all linked down below. 
Um, excuse the hair, I have just added some curls and no doubt they will start to relax and drop out during this little try on. So this first dress, as you can see by me pinching and pulling up the shoulders, it does need the shoulders, the straps to be reduced by, do you know what, they really need to come up by about an inch on either side, but it is most definitely worth me making that adjustment because other than the straps being a little bit too long, it is just the absolute perfect dress. It is a gorgeous broderie anglais lace and a very pretty lace, I must say. Sometimes a broderie anglais can be a little bit old-fashioned, but this has got the most beautiful pattern to it. If you look closely, it's just these gorgeous, almost like daisy flowers. <laughs> A very pretty quite square neckline and I really like where the seams are because the seams, hopefully you can see, almost give it a Victorian bodice kind of style. It's got pockets and it is a very elegant length just showing off your footwear, perfect garden party attire and I've popped on the lovely um, bow Loe Flair Randall sandals Randall sandals and I would also accessorise with the beautiful I have shown you this in the past Oscar de la Renta straw bag how lovely is that I just love nothing more than a white broidery dress and rattan or raffia accessory so this is essentially a dream summer day outfit for me shouldn't be too much of a mission to just shorten the straps a little bit and the bodice other than that fits absolutely perfectly it does have a really long zip and i have to say can you see how well it fits it's just perfectly fitted as though it has been made for my body so this is absolutely gorgeous what i love about netta porter is discovering British brands and newer brands or smaller brands that I've not heard of before. This is a brand, I believe they're called Three Graces London. As I said, I will leave everything linked down below, but I would never have come across this brand naturally. But now I'm gonna find them on Instagram, I'm gonna follow what they're doing and I can shop them on Netta Porter. So this is dress number one and I love it. I love it so much. And I know that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this this summer. Okay, I literally just said I wasn't going to try on any Erdem dresses, but until I took this off the label, I fully believed that this was actually from Peony, um, who I adore for their swimwear. And I, I don't know why, I just thought this was a Peony dress, but alas, it is an Erdem dress, so I'm breaking my own rules. So if I decide to keep this one, and I'd love to know what you guys think of all of these pieces, please let me know your yays and nays down below. Um, then you might see this one again if I do do an Erdem collection video. Just realised I've hoiked it up over the waistband, but then it's showing the lining. Although, I can still see the lining, hmm. Not too much of a problem because I can shorten the lining, but just something to note on the design. So this is, as you can see, a beautiful floral halter neck. This is, this is a really lovely wedding guest outfit. Some brides might be touchy about it being too white on the base, but I personally think it's absolutely fine. If in doubt, send the bride a photo and she'll give you a yay or nay. I've got a feeling that this would not be appropriate for Royal Ascot because there is too much shoulder, not enough strap. Um, but for other lovely summer occasions, games of tennis, games of polo, parties with friends, very elegant barbecues, garden parties, and this is perfection. It is a blurred floral pattern. I'm not sure if I've done this all correctly, you know because there's a lot of strap going on at the back there. Big strap going on here. Um, and a dropped waist. A dropped waistband is throwing me off scent a little bit. So perhaps I need to have a look on the website to see if I've done it correctly. Do you tie the bow at the side? Don't know. <laughs> it does annoy me when I have to go onto a website and check that. Actually, I quite like that. Quite like a little side bow detail, really lovely, lightweight material, gorgeous, um, kind of like an old fashioned English rose as the pattern, and I do love a halter neck. Ooh, do you know what? Since doing more reformer Pilates, I'm starting to notice much more muscular definition in my back, in a good way, <laughs> not in a whole quite. Do I have biceps? I do, look at this. 
<laughs> the smallest bicep ever. I've never had any kind of muscle before. Um, anyway, I digress. Love the dress, so pretty, very comfortable to wear. Um, but I definitely need to shorten the lining. That is, I don't know if you can see, but I can see the lining poking out from underneath. No pockets, but other than those two little <laughs> design tweaks, it is an absolutely gorgeous summer dress. Up next is a little Zimmerman number. I'm incapable of doing a net -a porter order <laughs> without checking out Zimmerman. So this is the beautiful dress that I have chosen to add to my collection. Colour-wise, it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's a silhouette that I'm very familiar with. Zimmerman do often stick to their silhouettes and once you find one or two or five or six <laughs> that you love you can just guarantee that it's going to fit you perfectly and you can choose whatever pattern your heart desires. I think um, the straps are adjustable, I do need to shorten them just a tiny bit so the bodice is up there. I've not been wearing a bra with any of these. Um, which for me is fine, some people might want to wear a strapless bra or something. I find this particularly flattering because the bodice is finishes quite high up, which gives the illusion of very long legs, whereas in reality <laughs> my legs start down here. Beautifully fitted on the bodice, you've got a little bit of very nice smock detail at the back. Because the dress is so patterned, it doesn't really look that visible, but what that does mean is that the bodice fits you absolutely perfectly. The dress that I'm wearing later, where is it? Oh, it's still on the rail outside. Um, it's a very similar silhouette, but it has got a pleated bodice, which is just beautiful. Lengthwise, midi, just below the knees. Um, the skirt has got loads of panels in it, which means there's so much fabric that it is a beautiful A-line silhouette. Same lower flare roundel sandals. And just a summer holiday, hot, sunset on the beach kind of favorite. So if you've got any holidays in your diary, then this would be a lovely one for a very elegant beach outfit, sunset drinks, evening dinner, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, bring on summer. My battery is about to die any second, but next up we have got this very beautiful shirt dress, I'm going to call this from Charo Ruiz de Ibiza my best Spanish accent. This is a fantastic option if you are looking for beautiful pieces that are going to keep you cool and you want to dress modestly. If I pull the sleeves down, it's right down to the wrist, right up to the neck and just about hitting my ankles. I think if I was any taller, it would be higher than ankles, but a very modest dress. Equally, you can pull up the sleeves and show a little bit more skin. It is the most gorgeous lightweight fabric, really beautiful floral pattern, it's so lightweight, I cannot even explain to you, it feels like I'm literally wearing nothing. Lovely lace detail here, beautiful little Peter Pan collar, and you can cinch it in around the waist, or you could let this tie out and um, wear it almost as a boxy silhouette. Another really lovely summer holiday one, if I was going to Morocco or Dubai or Oman and I wanted something quite covering um, but not going to get too hot or equally if you live and work in a hot country then it's a really beautiful one to be modest and professional and yet still very elegant. It is a gorgeous dress, really beautiful movement with all the florals at the bottom and the pattern, the abundance of florals down at the hem is just absolutely beautiful. And then I have one more dress from this brand as well, equally colourful. My darlings, I have lied to you again. <laughs> this is not another Charo Ruiz de Vita. This is a Borgo di Nor dress and oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this silhouette. It makes me feel like a princess. I love it so much. The bodice is so fabulously fitted. The sleeves are poof, poof sleeves. I love a poof sleeve um, and they are not detachable. Or are they? Can you see? No, they're not detachable, they're always there, um, but I think it needs them because it would be, I don't know, it would be nice if they were detachable actually. 
no pockets but shall we just appreciate the beauty of this the silhouette it is a gown it is a very smart occasion dress if you are again fabulous wedding guest dress i would be so happy if someone wore something like this to my wedding um or our garden party and fabulous for very special events during the summer however <laughs> i have realized of course it is practically identical just Have I literally bought the same dress twice? <laughs> Borgo di Nord. So this is my Borgo di Nord dress from last year. It's so similar. <laughs> it is literally so, so similar. I'll pop a photo of me wearing this on the screen here. This one is just slightly more jam packed with florals. And this year's version has a little bit more white on it and a little bit more kind of graphic design with the vines coming out from the flowers. Whereas last year's is pure floral. I need to wear this more. I Next time someone invites me to something fabulous, I'm gonna wear this because I wore this um, for a photo shoot. I wore it for Charlie's brother's 30th and I want to wear it more. If we have a nice day for Chelsea Flower Show, then I might wear it there. Actually, no, I won't. It's too much. It's too much for Chelsea Flower Show. But um, I love it and I do get a lot of questions on this. This one, I believe, is sold out. But this is the 2023 version and I absolutely think it is stunning. Okay, we're going a little bit off piece here, but I have a couple of gorgeous beach items to share with you. First of all, let's talk about the caftan. Do we still call these things caftans? I do. Um, or beach cover-up, beach dress. It has just got the most beautiful floral, big daisy or geranium. No, I think daisy. Let's call it a daisy. Pattern. Little v-neck. Um, little tiny slit up the side and a short little length. Spoiler alert, I've also got the long version, which I'm going to show you in, show you in a second. Big, um, what do you want to call it? Loopy, <laughs> loopy sleeves. It's perfect. It's not too covery uppy. Some hotels do get a bit funny if you show like too much skin at lunchtime. So I would say if you are literally at a beach bar or a beach restaurant, this is perfect. But if you're in a hotel or a friend's house and you're like going inside for lunch, I mean, you can very clearly see my swimsuit underneath. So judge the vibe, <laughs> judge the vibe of the room, I would say. But speaking of what's underneath, I'm not gonna give you a full reveal because it's a little bit too much skin for <laughs> 11 a.m. in the morning. Um, but I am wearing the most flattering, it's giving, it's giving Barbie, Hunza G swimsuit. This is quite possibly the most flattering swimsuit I think I've ever tried in my life. Hunza G swimsuits are one size fits all don't know how far that would stretch, quite literally, but um, I always remember Fleur saying that when she was pregnant, she was always going for her Hunza G's because like, you could grow quite a large tummy and this would still fit you because of the insanely stretchy material. But this one, the color I think is super flattering and also, can I show you without this being too rude? It's very high, wow, this is really rude, I'm sorry, very high, up the leg which is so flattering especially if like me you've actually got short little legs it's very very woo very flattering um yes might have to put a few peach emojis over that um but yes i love it it is such a flattering swimsuit and very comfortable great for that after lunch time when maybe you just want to feel encased is the word i'm going to use so i'm going to try on oh Speaking of beach days, and we're back to Erdem, I did pick up this. I am a big visor lover. I love a visor. Um, how would I wear this? Would I? <sighs> I feel like a Palm Springs soccer mom. I don't know. I think this is maybe too big for me, but it does have a ribbon tied in at the back. I'm not sure. I think I look like a police officer in that. <laughs> a police officer who wears Erdan and then you've got the classic straw hat with the pretty little blue tie which is the same fabric as I've got the blue dress in this fabric these are much easier to wear your classic sun hat this is a really nice size I think I always get the smaller hat size 
and sometimes they are too small for me but this fits perfectly if you've got a tiny head it might be a bit loose but that is such a comfortable hat really easy to throw on love that little blue bit love the fact that you've got the bow at the back now i just need a holiday to wear this well my darlings this is just stun arillo i would say it's giving major honeymoon vibes Chai and I really need to sort out our honeymoon. We have not even, I mean, we've spoken about it. We've not booked anything. So any honeymoon tips, please let me know. I have popped on a different swimsuit. This swimsuit is from a brand called Hate. And I purchased this from Netta Porter about a month ago. I think I showed you, but I didn't try it on for you. It's got thin little straps. It's quite square along the neckline. Do you know what I would say? I wouldn't dive in this. <laughs> or if I did, I would be very careful because my nipples are literally here and um, there could be a moment of a big reveal <laughs> if you know what I'm saying but over the top I have got a very similar beach cover-up I think it's nice to have similar things in like a beach capsule wardrobe same sleeves um, you've got a bit of a slit this time that it goes down this is more appropriate as I don't know, I mean, you can still very clearly see the swimsuit, but I'd feel more comfortable going for lunch in a hotel environment in something like this. It really does feel very elegant for a honeymoon or um, a special, sorry, I've got a thing caught on my shoe. If you are lucky enough to go on beautiful tropical holidays like to the Maldives, then this is a very Maldivian suitable outfit. Love it. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And then the final beach thing, is this very very soft loewe towel obviously most of the time when you go on holidays you are provided your towel by the hotel or whoever but sometimes you need your own and i just liked the colors of this one yes it's very expensive for a towel but i really like it when we go to greece or we go to catalonia we do have to take our own towels oh i've just noticed it's got the proper little loewe patch down there and there's something very bougie about having a bougie towel, isn't there? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a splurge, but decided to treat myself to a fancy towel. So wow, quite the try on. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now I need to get downstairs, pop a few more things in the Arga, and I'll try my very, very best to vlog as much as possible today. Um, but you know what it's like when you've got friends over, the last thing you're thinking about is picking out your camera. So I'll do my very best, I promise. Anyway, my darlings, as I said, all of these gorgeous bits will be linked down below. Check for the Netta Porter Hall section, and I'm gonna get changed ready for our party. Vic and Alex to put their royal glasses on. <laughs> they suit you so much. You've got the best ones with the flag, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> oh dear. I think they'd be better size for the doggies. Very cute. <laughs> of course, we've got our coronation night timber for a Bucks Fizz to start the celebrations. And coffee, our final guests have just arrived. Let's go and say hello to Susie. Oh, Susie the mermaid has arrived. Him. Look at yeah, this. What is this? Oh, wow. And he rum. Rum. Rum, pum, pum, pum. Oh my god, Margarita. Yes. Oh, Susie brought the goods. Thank you. Yeah. <gasps> Thank you. 
let us know what is happening here, please. This is very exciting. Uh, Amelia's getting a fresh set. Woo! A fresh set. I'm very excited for the Susie Vinaldi shape. Look at that yeah. middle finger. Oh, is that the Vinaldi iconic shape? You. Yeah. <laughs> Wowza. Would you call that a... Uh, that's the Sue's. Coffin almond? I call it tapered almond. Tapered but almond. I don't know what the official. No, the official term is the Sue's. The Sue's. Snails. Love it. That's just the handle because I didn't want to give it up. I also didn't want to get a new Instagram. Oh, I see. Well, I'm excited to see the finished look. I'm excited. I've been pestering Amelia for about three weeks now. <laughs> and here it is. It's happening. Yay. Fabulous. Look who I've got at Old House Our Home. Yay, Yay. finally. What is like Instagram versus reality? Your okay. Impressions? The layout of the house is so different to how I imagined what it. What do you imagine? And I also feel like I imagine, I don't know what I imagined, but the layout is just different. And then also- Higgledy piggledy. No, not higgledy piggledy, but I thought, I thought you walk in. Okay, wait, the kitchen yeah. is further back than I thought, like it's deeper than I thought. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so did I don't you know realize the house was like kind of two houses sandwiched together? Yeah, like it's, yeah. but I don't know, it's so weird. And then also your shroom <laughs> is like, is lo way longer than I thought too. Right, because I never yeah. show like both halves. Yeah, it's like, it's so much longer and also it's way brighter than I thought in your shroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's a grey day. Yeah, and it's a really grey day. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Okay, that's as good time. I wonder why, because you know why I feel like when you first went, went got your shroom, you oh, <laughs> when you Get first on. got your shroom, you were doing loads of filters. It was like the it was the oh. time it was the time of Instagram filter oh. stories only. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Now I feel like we do a bit of both. Yeah, but it was the time natural. of Instagram filter stories only, where it was like a bit more like caramel. Elusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. Okay, I, I just love to know. I love knowing too. Yeah, I I need to come to your house. Yeah, and yeah. Do like an You're gonna Instagram come. You and Charlie reality. are gonna come for dinner. We're gonna yeah. have a double date because Charlie it. and Jack have been like. I know. I knew they would. Really? I knew they would. Oh, yeah, so when nice. you were like, oh, Jack's a royalist and XYZ, I was like, yeah. Jack loves a royal They're going to be I do too, to be fair. Oh, it's been such a lovely day. So nice. Yay. This has been the best day. And we have so much time still. We're saying it like it's the end of the day. It's not. It's not the end of the day. I'm leaving it's for like, a while. We've got, we've got <laughs> We're hours. staying here until the end. <laughs> you can't get rid of us. That was really there is a sausage dog on the stairs. There is a sausage dog on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> He's so little. Let's go down the group trip to the greenhouse. <laughs> All the children are coming. Right, and yeah. Like margarita. Yay! I'm scared to pour this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be stunning. darlings it's now Sunday morning everyone woke up surprisingly bright and early this morning and I like I've got an antennae searching for radio signal everyone was quite an early bird this morning I think Vic and Alex have got a bit of jet lag and the dogs howling and maybe got Susie and Ryan out of bed a little bit earlier than we expected but it's perfect because it's a pretty nice morning and the boys are all making brunch which is really sweet and I'm just setting the table up outside. Um, not quite ready to get dressed yet, but let me show you what's going on in the kitchen. They're making huevos rancheros to Blink 182. <laughs> Here we go. Sunshine, hallelujah. Where were you yesterday when we needed you? Probably gonna get copyrighted for the music here. Morning, Bubbles. Good morning, my Bubbles. Oh, this is sweet. 
salsa. I just love the smell of onions cooking. We're just saying that. Red onion, nice, it's nice. Uh, I don't know. Charlie is dishing up. What do we have for breakfast, darling? We have huevos rancheros. <laughs> rancheros, rancheros. Well, it's because well, it's, it's, it's the dish that we did at the Dalesford Cookery Day. Yeah. That has like um, beans and stuff. Beans. beans and stuff. It's basically a posh baked beans. Isn't it? it is. Beans basically, on toast. it's posh baked beans on toast. Yeah. That is the biggest bean I've seen in my entire life. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't even know if that works. You are rude. Uh, yes, Alex, thank you. Come on, man. Not quite sunshine, but near enough. Pretty table setting, flowers from the garden. Victoria and Alex bought us this beautiful Nemesia, which is so perfect and fitting for my colour scheme. Look at that, couldn't have been more wonderful. Rebecca Oodle plates and placemats and Bertioli tablecloth for our breakfast this morning. Look at my sweet, patient little child. I'm boiling. I love how he just sits there. Yeah, we knew these guys were going to have You got leads, Joseph. Vegan sausage like rolls. Yeah. Out in the sunshine. Beverage. Yeah, I'll have a beer, please. Oh, you have a beer. Okay. Yeah. Can you put? At some point, we need to all go watch Ryan. <laughs> Suze, what's in your goodie bag? I'm not cool can enough, you, Ryan. Can you remind them what's in my goodie bag? So, Suze is leaving with a courgette yeah. defender, well, it's more than a detail, um, it's a music producer, an aubergine, a Saint Pierre tomato, a yellow courgette, a climbing <laughs> bean, uh, sorry, a climbing bean and a French bean. You quite impressed with the you like I will be checking I, for I regular like updates. Hopefully, I don't care. I don't, care. Care. I don't I think guess. you will. <laughs> I have every faith in your gardening you ability. Good luck, little friends. Good luck! Yeah. Bye bye! Okay, my darlings, it's a few hours later and the gang have now gone home. Uh, but we are not alone. George and Petra have just arrived and we are all heading now to our village fete um, to celebrate the coronation. It's just typical. Today is a glorious day. Look at this view. The camera is not even going to show how magical this looks. The rapeseed field is just, I mean, doesn't that look like a postcard? With the clouds and the trees and the sunshine. What a shame we didn't have this weather yesterday because it would have been so lovely to have a garden party. But it's really toasty outside. We've just been sat out on the patio having a nice glass of night timber, English sparkling wine. And now we're gonna head down to the church. We have got, um, we've got some strawberries and champagne that we're taking along. And I've popped on my little Reformation dress. I've popped on my little Emma's sandals. Although I might swap into something a bit more sturdy, and my little Prada bag, and that's the outfit of the day for our village fete. <laughs> our offerings for the church fete. We're taking the Battenbergs that didn't get eaten yesterday. George has got the strawberries, Charlie's got the champagne. We're trekking down to the church. Gosh, so colorful. Look, did somebody make those profiteroles? <laughs> Is my child. <laughs> what a sweet boy. So comfortable for Lele. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, just trample all over my lupins. Yep. Oh, like Are those shoes? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what a glorious afternoon this has turned out to be. George and Petra left about an hour ago. Um, if I look a little bit smudgy is <laughs> because I've just had a little nap in the sunshine. It's turned out to be the most gorgeous afternoon. It's actually felt warm and have I actually 
caught the tiniest little bit of colour um, for the first time this entire year. We've got to early May and today's been the first day that I felt it's actually been warm enough to sit outside and properly enjoy the sunshine. So it's been a lovely afternoon, lots of fun at the... Um, the I don't know what you'd call it, it wasn't really a church fair, it was more just the people from our lane which happens to be where the church is, um, getting together to celebrate the coronation. It was lovely, everyone bought loads of food, so there was just so many picky bits. Um, but I don't know if we're gonna have dinner, we were going to do steak and mac and cheese, because we have cheese left over from last night, but we're not really that hungry, so maybe we'll just do little cheese toasties. Um, we just had a little bit of a lamb drama. We spotted a lamb in the field opposite us, and actually we weren't sure if he was alive. Um, he was very still and looking very frail. So we've just called the farmer to come and um, come and see. I did go and check and he is breathing and I've given him or offered him some water. He wasn't really interested. Mum was just, mummy sheep was just stood there looking a bit concerned. Um, so farmer luckily just lives down the lane and he's gonna come and take a little look. But hopefully he's okay. My very own Dickie is looking more and more like a baby sheep every single day. He's been enjoying the sunshine. Can you even hear me over the noise of the birds? The birds twittering. It, oh, I just love it when it feels like summer. Gosh, and didn't I show you the wisteria yesterday? And there's like four times the amount of flower on it now. I don't know if you can really see, but it's going to be spectacular this year. Look at that, my goodness. We got, or Charlie got these new cushions from Oka for the outside furniture you can actually leave them outside and i was just napping across there just for 20 minutes a little bit of shut eye i don't think i actually fell asleep but you know when you just have a little snoozle and that was very comfortable and look at this lovely little corner perfect view and we have got a new little bush here this is a, a viburnum opus opulus i love using them in cut flowers it will get really big um, but i probably won't actually cut anything anything from this this year at least i've given everything a water everything in the little cold frame and everything in the greenhouse is doing very well look at this this is going to be a mega allium how gorgeous that is going to become very soon lots of alliums shooting up oh this one is starting to open <sighs> yay i just wish the rest of the border would hurry up <laughs> because it's going to look a bit silly if we just have alliums. But yes, everything in here is really growing now, now that we've got some good temperatures. So lovely. So lovely. So this arrived in the post on Friday and I didn't get a chance to unbox it yet, so I thought I would just do it now in the sunshine. Um, I decided to treat myself to a new iPad mini and apparently a magic keyboard because I really would like to stop taking my laptop into London so much it really makes my bag very heavy and I think nowadays you can really get most of your work done on an iPad I'm not sure about editing but um, do you know what to be honest it's mostly emails and I really don't love doing emails on my phone so bit of a splurge a bit of a treat but I decided to buy a new iPad Air are you going to come and join me? Come on then, sweet filet. Ah, oh, two children. This is a two-hand situation. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, that is perfect. I wanted something nice and lightweight. Naturally, I chose the pink. And I don't know if you can see, but it says Josie with a little heart there. I'm hoping that just like a new iPhone, oh, it's a different way up than I thought it would be. Okay, it's launching upside down. I'm hoping I can just connect it to my Apple ID and it will know all of my passwords. That would be amazing. Well, here we go. This is my new jazzy setup, 
and it's literally like a little laptop which is amazing um, it does seem to be restoring from my iCloud which is wonderful news and it literally just magnetized onto this case I didn't even need to do a Bluetooth connection for it's called the magic keyboard and it really is quite magic it didn't even need to do any Bluetooth connection I just started typing and it worked right away um, and then it becomes its case as you might be able to see it is pure white and it's that really lightly spongy material so I can already tell this is just gonna get so mucky and covered in makeup um, from my fingers slash general generally having it in bags and things like that so I don't know if I need to find a case to put the case in, but that does seem a little bit silly. A few new features. I've not had a new iPad in a while, but the um, the button here is now a touch ID, which is very clever indeed. So yeah, lots of new jazzy technology for me to play around with. I couldn't resist making a macaroni and cheese. <laughs> This is the very sleepy face of someone who probably should not have just eaten a very cheesy mac and cheese. I'm now absolutely pooped and very much ready for bed and looking like a smurf or a member of the new Avatar film. Is there a new Avatar film? I think there is. Are they underwater? Or did I just make that up? Anyway. I'm going to go to bed now. It's half past eight. Charlie's just finishing watching a football game. Um, honestly, I think I'll be asleep before he gets back upstairs. We are both absolutely exhausted from entertaining and um, being jolly. You know, when you just have to like exert a lot of energy to be <laughs> fun to be around for a while. And it just takes it all out of you. My battery is on 2%. So um, yes, I'm going to go to bed, I've got Pilates and bar in the morning, which I'm looking forward to, a bit of a reset, um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, darlings, it's been a very fun couple of days, and thank you for watching, if you got it this far, then please leave a crown emoji in the comments if you got this far, and that's all from me, I'm going to go to bed now, Good night. Mm -hmm.